Hey guys, what's going on? It's Sky here, and today I'm going to be doing uh, Sunny Vegas editing school number seven. I think it's been about nine or ten months, and uh, the Bozo Plays requested this one. It's basically another transition tutorial, um, and I'll show you the examples, like one um, right here. How it kind of zooms into the side and then into the side of the other clip and zooms back out to normal camera, or I basically use it on every clip. Um, it's just a nice and easy transition to do, uh, and you can always mix it up with other transitions, like I have another transition tutorial, but it's like a slidey thing. Um, but anyways, I'm just choosing two random cinematics here. I'll just choose like that part, why not? And this part, why not? Doesn't really matter since it's just a tutorial. Um, sure, okay. So first off, um, your, your velocity should be inserted at this point. Um, everything should be all good. I have a velocity tutorial if you want to go check that out somewhere on my channel. Just create your points. Oops. Create your points. I do fast fade. I did it again. Oh my gosh. Okay, there we go. That's good enough. Okay, and then once you do that, that's fast fade, okay. So, it's really easy. Uh, say, I'm gonna create, um, I don't know, restore so it moves from right there. Okay, and so what you wanna do is you just kinda go, go to the end of the clip, go about maybe six frames back, and then zoom in, uh, whatever, whatever amount looks good, it kind of changes from clip to clip sometimes. And you can click this little button over here, the move freely button, and you can move it into the corner, um, down way, you know, you can move it like side to side, that's what that is, or just up and down. It's really whatever you want to do. For me, um, let me go back to center, and I'll just do it to the right. Actually, no, the left, I like the left button. So we go to the left, and this we want to, so, uh, select fast. Um, okay, actually I just realized I messed up on that. What you want to do is you want to keep this at the end and you want to keep your restore right here. Or you, you can move it backwards if it looks like a little bit too fast of a transition. So you should get this like nice little tiny screen pump. And it doesn't actually really look that good on this clip. But anyways, once you do that, uh, you just go on to the next clip and Actually, you want to copy and paste this. Just control C it, that keyframe. Control V it over here. And then move it all the way over to the right so it's on the opposite side. Once you do that, um, I like say I had a screen pump that was right here. I would go uh, back six frames or so. And I would hit restore right there. So, and then after that, you would just do your normal screen pump thing. Oh yeah, and also make sure that these, the restore ones, are on slow and the pumps are on fast. Um, at least that's the way I like mine. Some people prefer it differently. That's just how I do mine. And that's pretty much all you have to do. It's really simple, really easy. Um, see, that didn't really look that good because it's maybe this needs to go out a little bit. I don't know. Try it now. That looked a little better, I guess, but, um, you know, just play around with it until you like it. Um, it's really simple, really easy, looks nice, and so, um, yeah, that's pretty much it.